So, Brother Marvin, you just take your liberty in the Lord. He's just like my Thank son. You, Lord. And I believe that God's going to use his mother tonight. Amen. Psalms 134 and 2 said, uh, We lift up our hands in the sanctuary yes. and we'll bless the Lord. Come on, let's do that right now. Let's lift our hands. Lord, you said in 1 Chronicles 29 and 12, In your hands is to make great and give strength to God. You declared in Psalms 31 and 15, Now times are in your hand. Lord God, as this service has been placed in my hands, I now quickly give it back to you because, Holy Ghost, you're the preacher. You're the one that leads people to Christ. And they're saved, they're set free, they're sanctified. Holy Ghost, it's you that fills them with yourself and your power and your gifts. Holy Ghost, it is you, hallelujah, that changes and alters the lives of those who call on the name of the Son of God who's risen, Jesus Christ. So tonight, Holy Ghost, we know that Jesus said, without you we can do nothing. John 15 and 5, and Holy Spirit, without you we don't want to do nothing. So we welcome you, our dear beloved, right now in the name of Jesus. You said in Isaiah 40 and 13, who hath directed the Spirit of the Lord or being his counselor hath taught him. Holy Ghost, we're not here to teach you. We're here to be taught by you. We're not here to lead you tonight. Hallelujah. We're here to follow you. We're the pupil. Hallelujah. You're the master. You're the teacher. So come, Holy Ghost. We don't want the, the very sense of a meeting that's religion. Lord, we want the mind of the Spirit, as Paul declared we have in 1 Corinthians 2, 16. Holy Ghost, we may have in mind the way we think this service ought to be and how it ought to go. We may even compare it to last night and expect the same. But Holy Ghost, we don't want to insult you by expecting tonight to be the same as any other night that's been prior to this. Uh, Holy Ghost, we don't limit you. You do what you want to do. You said in Psalms 92 and 10, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. We proclaim and ask and request for fresh oil in this place. Not only upon me, Holy Spirit, but upon the hearer, upon everybody that will watch on video, everybody God that will hear on audio, and especially everyone that's in this room presently right here tonight, including myself. Uh, God, give us ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church as Revelation 3, 22 declares. Uh, awaken our ear, give us the tongue to learn so we can speak a word in due season the hymn that's weary. Isaiah 50 verses 4. Holy Ghost, it's you and we need you tonight. Come on, lift your hands one more time to it. We put it in your hands, Holy Ghost. We give it back to you, Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah, we worship you, King Jesus. Thank you for what you've already accomplished at Calvary. John 19 and 30, you said it's finished. At the cross, it was done. Our healing was done. Every miracle we'll ever need was done. Yes, Lord, even our salvation was finished there. It was done. And by faith, if we'll receive, hallelujah, what you did, Lord God, we'll experience it done afresh in us. We can be forgiven. We can receive mercy in your grace. God, your power that sets us free from every band and, uh, of the wicked and every demon and every devil. So, Holy Ghost, thank you. Lord God, you said in Colossians 2, 15, what a good word for here we are also still in 2015. And, and you said in Colossians 2, 15 that you spoil principality and powers openly putting them to shame triumphing over them in it Holy Ghost publicly 2,000 years ago on a Roman road the cruel cross God you defeated the devil and every one of his imps every one of his fallen spirits so Lord we declare tonight the devil ain't going to lose he's already lost Everything, Lord God, God, that we have need of was provided at the cross, at Calvary. It is finished. Hallelujah. It was done there. Our healing was done there. That's why by your stripes we were healed. First Peter 2, 24. Before you were sick, you were healed. Lord, it was done then. Everything we have need of was done then. You spared not your own son, but delivered him up for his soul. How shall he not with him freely give us all things? Romans 8, verse 32. Lord, you gave us all things at Calvary. It was finished there. And whatever we receive tonight from you as we put our faith in your word when we hear it. Lord God, when we leave here, we shouldn't say we received it tonight. We received it 2,000 years ago. We received it at Calvary. It was done then. It wasn't done tonight. It was done then. We just happened to allow you to manifest it here tonight. So we give you glory. We thank you, Lord God, not for what you're going to do, but that that's already finished because everything you're doing has already been did. It's done. There's nothing new under the sun. It was finished at the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell them, say, when you know victory is behind you, you'll keep walking forward. 
And what I mean by that, when you look back to the cross, look at your neighbor and say, we're going to get a little bit more cross-eyed than that. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'll have to the cross around again tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When you realize everything you have need of was finished, it was done at Calvary. That means it's behind you. You'll keep going forward even in the presence of problems and issues. And if you ain't got an issue, you might have an issue. Either way, praise the Lord God. You won't let it stop you in the present because you realize everything you need Him to do futuristically, amen, has already been did in the past at the cross. Look at your neighbor and say, it was done at the cross. You'll just keep moving. You'll just keep walking. You'll just keep believing. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not going to be healed. I already was. At Calvary, it was done. I'm just going to receive by faith, man. Manifest it right here in the flesh in Jesus' name.